Okay, so we're about to get uh, see a bit more now on what to be doing next. So potatoes are all done. Uh, the meat is looking really good. I can say for sure that it's almost cooked. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, you've got a bit of excess uh, juice right there. You don't need all that because um, you're going to have the potatoes on top. So now what you want to do is just pour a bit of that out. Not too much. Just a little bit. If you really wanted to, you can actually use that for gravy. Um, you know, sometimes you can use that for you know, a bit of gravy if you want a bit of gravy on there. But you don't need a lot of juice in there because, like I said, the mince itself um, has a lot of juice anyway. So as you can see, it has reduced in size. Remember it was all over the place, now it's just like in a piece. So the next thing you want to do, or the next thing I do, is I'm going to try and split all that up. So we're going to grab a fork. And we're going to grab a spoon, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're simply just going to pick off the meat. Just separate it again, just like you did in the stage when we were preparing the meat. Just like this. And you just pick, just try to separate it again. Because what you want is when you do the mashed potato on top, um, you're going to want to put the uh, vegetables in the middle of this as well. So the vegetables will need to there as well. So just do a good thing, give your old, uh, you know, tear apart and do like this. And... But I did say this, this dish was a very quick, easy process. Um, this particular cooker is cooking it really quickly. Um, I didn't show you all the cooking process because in terms of that thing, because I felt that, you know, it would just be a waste of video and, and I'm sure you, a lot of you will probably get bored of seeing everything. So. <coughs> So yeah, so as you can see, we've now got the meat evenly distributed around the tray. So now what you want to do is keep up to one side. But what you can do now, if you want to, if you choose to, you can now add your vegetable. So what you want to do with this is, with the carrots obviously you just want to open them, just like this. There's no need to cook them or anything like that, they will just be fine inside there. You now want to empty your water from the tank. Just like that. So now all you've got there now is carrot. You don't have any water or anything like that, you don't need it. And then what you want to do, very evenly, again, you want to spread your carrot out on the tray. Just like that. There we go. And again, just move and over it now again, separate the carrot pieces, and then put it all in there, and it'd be grand. Perfect. Just get a bit of evenness so you've got everywhere covered with, with that, just like that. And now we're gonna move on to the potatoes. So we move that to one side, move that to one side, like here, and now we're gonna do the potatoes. So obviously the first thing you want to do with your boiled potatoes is Straighten the water out of the pot. So this is, you just do this over here. And once you've emptied it all out, then you're gonna put the taste back in the pot. And now we are going to proceed with mashing. Now, most people put potato. Uh, you know, when you're doing mashed potato normally, hold on, I'm getting some salt out. Um, when you do mashed potato normally, you would add some uh, butter on Mars to, to give it a bit of a flavor. But I don't do it for the shepherd's pie. The reason being is it doesn't really need it because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna blend in when you mix it all in with the shoot. So I just grab some salt and just sprinkle some salt in, uh, in the pot of potatoes before you mash, just like that. And then, once you've done that, obviously you grab your mash, masher and you simply just mash. Now, the consistency you want is a very smooth mashed potato. No one, nobody likes lumps in their mashed potatoes, so you just want to keep mashing it like this. And until you get a smooth sort of, sort of uh, mashed potato, then you know, that's what you're basically looking for. Um, again, if you're a youngster, if you're a youngster person doing this, Please get, please get your parents or guardian to help you as uh, you are dealing with hot substance. 
I don't want anyone getting burned or hurt on the uh, really, really ground. So just keep bashing away. Um, you can add other things if you wish, like some cheese or some other things you want to add into there, like some pepper or something. Um, but you just want to mash the potato like this. I mean, if you really want to, you can add some milk if you want to, if that's what you'd like to do. Or if you want to add butter, you can, but I simply don't because I think that, you know, it tastes as good without it. So you keep mashing it like this. There you go. It's pretty much smooth as you're going to get it, I think. There you go. Now, now your mashed potato is ready. You want to bring your tray of mince back. This, right? Grab your spoon and take your, take your potato and just put it on top, just like that. Just like that, okay? So as you're putting it on, just put it on randomly. It doesn't need to be tidy or anything like that. You're going to deal with that bit in a minute. Now the idea is in a minute is that we're going to smooth all this over in a moment. And the one thing best about this, if you are a creative person or minded or anything like that, you can put designs in your actually mashed potato. I will show you how I do mine in a moment. So now, once you've got your mashed potato like that, simply just grab your bottom of your spoon just like that, and you just want to spread it evenly. Push it down, get it spread over. It doesn't matter if it goes over the side a bit, it's perfectly fine doing that. And what you're looking for, like I said, is a smooth surface. So we just do this and this. As you can see, it's, it's... See now, if you kept that juice in the... If you kept that uh, gravy juice in the uh, tray like that, it would have spilled over by now, for sure. Absolutely. Um, And if it does fall over the side, like I said, it doesn't really matter um, because, you know, you can always tidy it up, put it back in the middle part, just like that, you know, you can, you know, it's like modelling clay, isn't it? You just like redo it, refit it and all that stuff. So, that's basically it for that part. Um, like I said, I will show you a bit of uh, design. So. You can like put little design on your potatoes and stuff like that to eat. And if you do it night rightly, it will come out very where you want it. So as you can see, you've got the smooth potato section just there. So we're done with that now. Now we're going to design it. So what we're going to put on there today, I think we're going to go with maybe the channel name, right? So you can put like uh, anything you want. Just put STU. That see that right there, just like that. So I, I kind of signed it, <laughs> and now all you need to do with that is pop it back in the oven, which I will show you now. And you want to put that in the oven for about 20 minutes, and your shepherd pie will be beautifully cooked. And voila! Well, we'll be back in a moment when the shepherd pie is all cooked. So Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now we are finished. Uh, the shepherd's pie is now cooked, and I'm just about to get it out of the oven now. So, good. Well, for off, we'll show you this part as well. So, here we go. Looking very nice. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. So made. Shepherd's pie. Let's get rid of that. Doesn't it look tasty, ladies and gentlemen? Gonna put it on a plate and show you the inside of it. So you just bear with me for one second. I'm just gonna go and get a plate. So grab a plate like here. And you're gonna grab a spoon like this. I'm only gonna have half of it, I'm not gonna have all of it. Scoop it out. Like that. And then 
me? Homemade shepherd's pie. Mm-mm. I can tell you now, it tastes absolutely good. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's basically it. So thank you very much for all you watching. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, bake, this uh, homemade bake off or homemade bake. And I hope you really enjoy your shepherd's pies. Um, I'm going to set up a Facebook page uh, because what I would love to do is love to get your own uh, dishes on there. So when you make it yourself, um, by all means, you can always post it on there and show us what you get, what you do. So. That basically is it for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And until the next uh, dish, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stuart Thomas. This is Stu Pot's home baking channel and I will catch you on the next, next video. Keep it homemade, ladies and gentlemen.